Hi, my name is Mo Crane and I am a physical therapist and the owner of Crane Rehab Center. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Today I'd like to talk about pain. Pain is a universal experience. We have all had pain at some point in our lives. And pain is one of the main reasons why people seek out physical therapists. So a couple of things about pain. First of all, 100% of pain is experienced in our brain. And that's all pain, no matter if it is dull or sharp or severe or mild, and no matter how long we've had the pain. We could have pain for a few weeks, and that is pain that we call acute pain. And acute pain is usually the result of some tissue damage, such as an ankle sprain or a pulled back. With that pain, we usually facilitate healing through modalities that control the pain, such as moist heat or cold pack or electrical simulation or massage. And we also encourage our patients to be active during this time of recovery. And then there's the pain that is months in duration. And this persistent pain we call chronic pain. And dealing with this pain is a little bit more complex because what we do know is that most tissue will heal within three to six months. And since we also know that 100% of all pain is experienced in the brain, when dealing with chronic pain, we also have to address those things that can affect the central nervous system or affect the brain. So first of all, one of the things that we have to consider is stress. We know that pain causes stress. We know that this stress affects the brain is going, and then is going to adversely affect our pain. So we have to figure out ways to deal with stress as a way of actively dealing with our chronic pain. Lifestyle can also have a factor on affecting the central nervous system. Are we getting enough sleep? Are we getting enough nutrition? These are things that are important when we're dealing with chronic pain. Also, exercise is very important. We know that the brain responds very well to exercise. As physical therapists, it is our job to get our patients moving, but also convince our patients that movement is not harmful and that they shouldn't fear movement, that, but that movement is going to be very beneficial in affecting that chronic pain because it has a positive effect on the brain. So this is very briefly a couple of things that we touch on, on the, when we're dealing with the pathophysiology of pain. I hope this information has been helpful for you in some ways and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.